Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Uh, today we are talking about these brackets that we sell on the website. Yep. And I've seen these before, but this looks like a bigger one. Yep. Um, I believe this is to hold up street name signs yep. on to our post. Yep. So how do we do that? Um, yep. So um, the street name signs that we manufacture, uh, this is a 200 mil tall street name sign. And um, these would be typically used at a larger intersection. So, for example, if you have a, a multi-lane um, intersection, um, quite quite a thoroughfare, uh, you know, you need to be able to see this from quite a distance, opposite diagonally or whatever from wherever this might be installed. Mm -hmm. And so, if it's too small, um, then obviously it's um, uh, going to be harder for tra traffic flow uh, for them to be able to know what's what um, from a distance. So um, this one's got a little bit of thing about no through road at the bottom. It doesn't always have that, but um, uh, we have sold a few like this lately just because the council's uh, making the people that do developments um, put things down here often, which... Um, you know, assist people. Um, it, sometimes it might also say private road. So mm -hmm. sometimes the council will make the developer um, do the uh, do their own signs as well as everything else that they have to do. And, um, and it will say private road just so that the uh, council knows that um, they're not responsible and also so that the residents um, don't try and hold the council responsible for any... Uh, maintenance and stuff for stuff that might be body corporate within the compound yep so this comes i believe in two pieces and it comes with two bolts yep can you get other bolts or yeah so um typically people just in general use just standard bolts mm -hmm. um and i guess the problem is if a sign is at a height where it's tempting to be stolen um because it might be somebody's name, then um, then it's got a higher probability of getting stolen. So I like to install signs like this quite high, at least sort of three meters ish off the ground, just um, for that reason as well. As um, sometimes you know you'll get um, drunk person might you know in the middle of the night come home from the pub and and decide it's fun to jump up and hang off it. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, but yeah, as far as the bolts go, uh, we also do have options for anti-theft bolts. It's a special bolt which has not only a, a hexagonal uh, part of the nut, sorry, nut, not bolt, um, but also has like a part which is sort of conical. And then by tightening the bot, the nut till, it, till its maximum, uh, it ends up shearing and snapping the little hexagonal part off and just leaves the conical part which would be very difficult to undo, um, you know, mostly only ever be able to get it off with um, by angle grinding it off, which just makes it harder to steal. Um, so that option is on our website. Mm -hmm. I think it's an optional extra in the product. Um, and also, if you just want to look them up, um, we have the shear nuts available to buy individually as well. Um, these particular ones, I think it's an M8 uh, bolt and nut. Um, are able to go through the slots. Um, it's got slots rather than holes uh, because sometimes the holes aren't always in the same spot on every sign. And so that gives the flexibility to be able to still bolt it up without having to re-drill a hole if you, you know, um, didn't have the holes perfect. Um, and um, this is a two-part bracket. So it's got a male and a female part that can slide together like that. Um, so um, if I was installing this, um, I would put the post cap on first while I'm on the ground. Um, and if I've dug my hole to 600 mil, put the pole in, put the rapid set concrete in, and then I would get on the ladder and climb up and um, put the bracket around the post. Um, oh. Maybe if I hold the post for a sec, yep. see if you can't demonstrate that. So, yep, that's how that would go. You can see, obviously, there's a bit of a gap um, there, which is where the sign 
can go into there. Um, and then um, because of the shape of the sine substrate, and there's a little bit of a gap here, uh, but once you do up the bolts very tight, um, that gap will actually um, come in because it just bend the aluminium on the bracket just a tiny bit uh, to be able to make it so there's no gap. And then you, this won't be able to swivel um, and it won't flop around and make noise in the wind and look, look silly if it's flopping around. So just mm -hmm. make sure you do up the bolts really tight, as tight as they can go, so that will bend in and it'll all bind nicely. Um, yep. So um, what is the down. brackets made out of? Put it back down. Um, so the bracket's made of aluminium. It's yep. a marine grade aluminium with a high temper, so it's extremely strong um, and cr corrosion resistant. So it's very uh, durable. It's not going to rust or corrode, obviously, um, even if it's bayside, um, you know, in an uh, ocean type uh, environment that's bayside, salty air, and that's not going to corrode. Uh, it will last um, at least 50 to 100 years, I'd say, in the elements. Yep. And we have another size of these brackets on the website, don't we? They're a bit smaller. Yeah. We, we actually have probably like a dozen different brackets similar uh, because sometimes people will have um, one sign facing that way, a different one facing that way, and potentially even a different one that way. Mm -hmm. So you could have them at 90 degree or 180 degrees or, you know, three of them all the way around. Um, uh, and then... Because this is uh, suitable, suitable for a 200 mil sign, um, which is the height of this. Um, it's actually probably 175 or 180 mil um, in that do in that dimension, and this suits a 60 mil post. So this post off cut for a, for the for this video is um, it's a 60 mil outside diameter post, which is the most common for street name signs and traffic signs um, just be careful to uh, don't get confused with um, when some people in other industries might say something about a 50 mil nominal bore post um, which this is still classified as that um, nominal bore is the inside di uh, dimension of the uh, inside of a pipe um, and so um, other people in other industries always refer to the inside of the pipe whereas in the road sign industry will always refer to the outside dimension. So uh, this is a 50 mil nominal bore, but 60 mil outside diameter. However, some people might already have a 76 mil post in situ. And when uh, that's already there, obviously it makes sense you can use it. Um, we do have 76 mil uh, brackets for 76 mil. Uh, it's very rare, but it does happen. Um, Sometimes even people do choose to just install a 76 mil post. Um, you know, if you've got a whole cluster of signs and things hanging off a, a post, it's quite a big wind load. Um, if the total wind load is, uh, you know, um, an engineer might say it's too much wind load for that, you know, smaller post. So they might say to um, use a bigger post or, or something. So. Um, it does occasionally happen and we do have the brackets for that. Mm -hmm. Do yep. they come in any other colours? or? Um, so this is the uh, raw mill finish, um, which is standard. Mm -hmm. And we do have some customers that are like, you know, have a, a high-end facility or um, a development or something. It might be a um, affluent area in a city um, or, you know, in a suburbia and or it might be a corporation or something and they don't like the the look of the silver so we have had people do um get us to powder coat them in the past um it just depends how far you want to go with it um because some people powder coat everything they'll, they'll powder coat the um the, the sign substrate the bracket the bolts the posts the post caps um so it just depends which way you want to go with it. Um, Melbourne City Council um, powder coat their uh, sign substrates blue, um, and then they have blue reflective here. Um, in the old days, it used to be all blue, and then just the lettering was white. But now they've made reflective blue with their blue substrates. 
um, but they don't do the posts and everything else. It's just the sign. Um, whereas other people who particularly wanted something um, not silver uh, for that industrial look that they're trying to uh, get away from, um, they have yeah gone gone the whole the whole way by powder coating absolutely everything, um, which is has a premium look to it. But it depends if that's what they want. Yeah, definitely possible. Hmm. I think you've shared a lot. I don't know if there's anything else we need to know about these. Um, it might be possibly about it. Um, yeah, it's just um, when you're buying it, a kit would come with um, the two parts, which is a male and a female, um, and two bolts. So, um, yeah, that's probably about it. Um, uh, if you want to buy this product, the bracket, you can buy it from www.advancedgroup.com.au. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.